Welcome back to another episode of Max Set From Scratch. If you guys have missed the previous episodes or you want to know what the series is about, check the description and it will tell you everything you need to know. Now in the last episode, we went deep in SPKing without overheads, had a bit of a rough start, but managed to pull through and make 1.5 mil cash. Now we are still working on building the baby pure, which requires 85 mage to TB. Now I will be able to alk and make a profit using a site called alkmate.com, so that isn't too much of an issue. But I still need to get a lot of stuff done. Obviously, I need to get 70 range for Black Dehyde. I need to get 45 prayer, maybe even 52 for Smite. And I also need to unlock Myth Gloves because it is a lot cheaper than a combat bracelet. And uh, it's just better in the long term as I need to get Varus Gloves eventually. So in today's episode, we will be making a lot of progress on that. If you guys do enjoy this video, hit that like button and subscribe if you are enjoying the series. The first thing we're going to get done in today's episode is the very hard quest, Cook's Assistant. And Cook's Assistant done, that was pretty difficult. And that gets us four cooking. Next up is Goblin Diplomacy. Alright, Goblin Diplomacy done. Five quest points, Jesus. Nice. Next up is Gertrude's Cat. Gertrude's Cat done. That gives us 13 cooking and it gives us our cat, which we'll need later, obviously. Time to start Recipe for Disaster. Okay, and Recipe for Disaster has been started. Okay, first we're going to save the goblins. Okay, let's free these goblins with this slop of compromise. Gets us a uh, thousand cooking XP, a thousand crafting XP, and a thousand farming XP. And we can now use the chest, which is very nice. Now before we do the next part of Recipe for Disaster, we have to get a couple skill requirements. We need to get eight more crafting levels, and we need to get 11 more thieving levels. To get the crafting level, we're going to make gold bracelets again, because we can alk them once we made them for a profit. 30 crafting, uh, now it's time to get thieving. 25 thieving, I probably could have done this a lot quicker, but I'm just AFKing while I watch some movies. Next up is the golem. Okay, and this should be the golem done. Updating program, task complete. Golem done, one quest point, 1000 crafting XP, and 1000 thieving XP. Now we need to go do demon slayer, I think. All right, demon slayer started. Oh, and he got one hit. What was that incantation again? Alright, and Demon Slayer completed. Three quest points in Silverlight. Next quest we need to do is Shadow of the Storm. Alright, we got a fight with a level 100. Not the smartest idea. But I think Fire Blast might be better for me to tank than his melee attack. Okay, and he's dead. Oh wait, no, I have to kill him with Silverlight. He's dead now. Nice. We're gonna use it to get our magic up. 10k magic XP, nice. And Shadow of the Storm completed. Next thing we need to do is get 25 cooking. I was literally one trout away from getting uh, 25 cooking, and as you can see, I burnt one there. All right, hopefully we get 25 cooking from these two trouts, please. Yes, 25 cooking. Time to do the Evil Dave portion of Recipe from Disaster. Okay, this should be the right spice. And Evil Dave has been freed, giving me 7k cooking XP. That puts me to 31 cooking. Next up, we got a free Pirate Pete. Oh, damn. Fish cake made on the first try, I was scared I'd burn him. I burnt the second one, and I burnt the third one. How lucky was that? Pirate Pete has been saved. That gets us 1,000 cooking XP, 1,000 fishing XP, 1,000 smithing XP, and 1,000 crafting XP. Very nice. And we get all those levels. 31 crafting now as well. 10 fishing. Let's go do fishing contest. Time to start fishing contest. Fishing contest done. Now let's free the dwarfs. Time to free the dwarf. This one is actually pretty uh, important because I need the dwarven rock creek to do NMZ. All right, give the rock kick to the dwarf, and that's 1,000 cooking XP, 1,000 slayer XP, and increased access to the chest. Okay, the last sub quest we need to do is start big chompy bird hunting with this boy, Rance. And that is big chompy bird hunting done. Quite a few XP and two quest points. Now it's time for the final bit for Myth Gloves. First, we need to get 41 cooking, which is what the tuna is for. All right, and that is 41 cooking. I think I need to get some fire making as well. All right, I actually need to get 20 fire making as well. Alright, that's 20 fire making. We can now start the last quest of Myth Gloves. Time to free the ogre. And that is that bit done. We now have access to Myth Gloves. This is very important as it will be very uh, useful for us for pure PKing. And then obviously when we transition to a Zerker and a main, we will need Barrow's Gloves eventually. And having all of these completed, it will make that a lot easier. And now we have Mithril Gloves. 62 range. 63 range. I just got 70 range, which now means I can wear black dehyde. There's been a lot of crash wars at the Sand Crabs. I can't wait to move on to Nightmare Zone. But first, we're going to go take a little bit of a PK break. We still need to get 85 mage, obviously, but I need to go PK. Now, we're not getting overhead prayers or smite just yet, but we are going to get 25 prayers so we can use protect item. All right, that's 25 prayer. Now it's time to go get kitted up to PK. There are two things I want to gain from PKing. One of them is a rune pouch, which is 1.2 million points from the emblem store. And another one is the bounty teleport uh, scroll unlock, which is 8 million points. So I need to get a total of 9.2 million points in the emblem store. Now a tier 10 is 5 million, 
Uh, tier 9 is 3.5 million and so on. It just gets less like that. So we're going to go Bounty Hunter PK and see how far we can get and see if we can get the tiers that we need. Two tier 10s and that's more than enough that we need. We have 1.3 mil cash. Hopefully we're going to make loads more money just from PKing anyway. And we're going to have to spend some of this to get PK ready now. All right, we have basically spent all our money on supplies. We only have 160k left, so the hope is this is going to go well. We're going to make tons of money from PKing, and we're also going to get the emblems that we need. We've bought three emblems, which cost us like 500k, and these are our PK supplies. We're going to be using Dragon Knives to G-Mold to PK. I made a video on it when it first came out, so I think it's a pretty safe option to use. So we're just going to go PKing right now and see how it goes. Okay, we got this guy's got a Tome of Fire. He's unscalled. I don't know if he's going to fight me or not. I'm just hoping he will. Into the G-Mold. Dead. Okay, well that was our first kill. We're up to uh, tier 2 now, and we've got his emblem as well. So we've already made like 150k just from that. Oh, we got two emblems, so we made 300k. So just from one kill, I've managed to make 300k and upgrade to a tier 2. So this is already making me loads of money. Just from one kill on an un unscalled guy with only 30 blood runes. So this was a great idea. And to the crossbow. Fuck, okay, well we died, but we we're still we still made money, I think. Okay, our cash tax is 120k, but we do have one more emblem than when we started with last time. So we're still technically up. Let's get back out there and hopefully do a little bit better. So obby guy, I guess. 30, I don't know what he can hit, honestly. So 20 HP, I'm probably going to eat, right? And I don't know if, uh, what is this? I don't really know what to do. g -molum? Oh my god, those are probably the worst specs I've seen in my entire life. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's eat there. I don't know what he can max with that. I assume 30 something. Eight into the crossbow. He's dead here, right? It's 23 for the KO. Our G mall sucked, but I guess that guy was just. Oh my god, we actually got some decent loot. We got an Obi Mall combat bracelet. I don't know how much all this other stuff goes for. We now have a tier two again. We have an Obi Mall. We have just holy shit. We've just made 425k just like that, and we've gotten ourselves a tier two. Low level PK and some easy money if you don't die. Oh. Fuck, man, I just died again. This is not going great. All right, we're re-geared again. We're still not down money because we peed the Obi Mall and we have an extra emblem, but we're just going to hope we can't die and we can just get on a better foot now. g him. dead? Good fight, we got him. Nice. He drops an okay, wasn't expecting that. Got an emblem upgrade, got an emblem from him and his g Mall. 40k cash. That's really nice. He was TBing me and stuff like, and he was also entangling me. So maybe he thought I was still frozen and I wouldn't go for it. 35 dragon knives as well. That's not bad at all. I really don't think he was expecting to die. GG, man. That's another very big kill. Not only did we get an upgrade to a tier 2 emblem, we got 482k cash out. Almost 500k. So what we can do is we, if we keep dying and we don't manage to upgrade to a tier 10, we will PK enough money to buy the tiers ourselves. But obviously our hope would be to get this first. Got a fight with this guy, Doe. He's got an MSB strength at me, so he's probably just going to try and rush his GMOL specs. But that's what everyone's trying to do. Dead? Please? Tell me I got him. Good fight. That was the quickest fight I've ever been apart. Did I get his emblem? I did, and I have myself a tier 3 as well. And I got his granite model. It's literally at- Oh, I got two emblems. That is bank. At this level, is literally glorified g mall rushing. You just need to know how to eat- he had, a, he had a phoenix necklace as well. Um, you just need to know how to eat and if you can get your specs off first. With a little bit of RNG, it'll be fine. We're finally on a tier 3. I haven't died yet, just yet. And we also made ourselves- uh, 360k in the process. Okay, I got a fight with this guy called Raglife. He's just got a rune cross by. I assume he's gonna have like a G Mall or something to follow that up with, so I gotta be careful. Are you serious? I literally just got Defire KO'd. Three. <laughs> okay, well, there we go. There's our death. Not gonna sell some of the stuff we PK'd to buy some more supplies. 900 plus K to work with. Okay, let's see if we can get the kill this time. We just fought him earlier. He's a pretty good eater and he just rushed his specs and pretty much teleported right after, so this might be a little difficult. And I can't go for the g there because he's ran all the way north. I'm just going to eat a shark here because I was like 37 HP. Let's go for the g here. Oh, some terrible specs into a terrible bolt. Damn it. Dead? D-fire for the KO. 39. Finally, we got a D-fire. I'm not sure what he's doing. He's trying to like crossbow g me. But I've upgraded to a tier 2. Um, we've got his emblem. He had a decent bit of loot as well. GG, dude. Another fight with this guy. We almost killed him in our last fight, but our g hit like a 4 or some shit. He's using a light ballista, which is very interesting to me. And my g -mall did not pull through once again. Room crossbow KO, dead. 23 for the KO, good fight, man. Nice, we got a tier three now. He said safe as I died. I didn't get an emblem from him, unfortunately, but I did get to, I did get to a tier three, so that's all good. 
Got to fight with this guy, Hench Meme. He doesn't have an emblem. He only has red dehyde. This should be a pretty standard kill, honestly. Gmo? Boah! 2118 for the KO. It was a standard kill. He just drops the O. Um, no emblem off of him, unfortunately. But we're now on a tier 4, which is actually our highest tier today. Because we keep dying. Because we're basically terrible at the game. This is our fourth fight with this guy. We've got really close to killing him a bunch of times. But we just can't seem to get that correct Gmo off, unfortunately. I'm also 30 HP, so I'm just going to eat here, so I don't die. Jesus. Okay, he's used a spec, we are alive. Good to go. There's a Gmall rusher right there. I'm going to go for a crossbow this time. Into the Gmall, dead? Please? Did it work? Oh my god, we got him, good fight. Finally we got him. We were using, we were trying to go in for the insta mall, but I don't know, he just kept out eating it because he had PID. But we finally got him. We're now on a tier 5, the highest we've ever been, and we got another emblem out of him as well. GG, dude. Hey guys, I just want to let you guys know for the past three weeks, I have been on vacation in New Zealand. It's been like my first vacation in a year. I just want to let you guys know, I have been reading all your comments saying you guys missed the series, so I hope you guys can accept that I'm back now, and I'm going to be trying to pump out videos as soon as possible. And thank you guys so much for waiting with me. If you guys have enjoyed this video so far, or you're just enjoying the series being back, make sure you leave a like, and subscribe if you haven't, so you don't miss another episode, because we're in it for the long run. Go for the G Mall. Holy shit, those were actually the worst hits I've ever seen. I'm not even joking. I'd rather hit zeros than that. 51. Let's go in here. Dead? He's dead, right? 10 for the KO. Good fight. We're on a tier 6 now. He's going in for the G Mall. I just bolted him out. And we got his tier 2 as well. I don't know why I just said tier 2 so weirdly. But, not bad. Okay, got a fight with Joshy Blaze J. It's safe to say he smokes weed. 3 XP drops right there. Need to eat again, damn it. Come on. In for the G Mall. Oh, I was out of G Mall range, damn it. Let's get ready to pop this thing. 21, 35. Into the G Mall. Into the crossbow for the KO. Only an 11 down. Dead. 24 for the KO, GG, man. We're on a tier 7 now as well. And we get his emblem, which is very nice. Uh, three more until a tier 10, which is five more points. Good. I got a fight with Prince Zuko by the looks of it. I don't think he was going to skull on me. And I'm pretty sure I can kill him pretty easily. He's going for the G Mall. Dead? Oh my god, I red barred him. That is frustrating. HP. 14. Into the crossbow for the KO. Only a 17. Oh, there's a D fire. 38 for the KO. Nice. That's what I needed. GG, my friend. We got his tier 2 as well. And we're on a tier 8 of our own. Two more, man. We can't die now. Please don't die now. Okay, that's 330k loot. And we're on a tier 9 now. One more kill. Please get a free upgrade. g them out. Oh my god, those are honestly the worst hits I've ever seen. Those are honestly the worst hits I've ever seen. He's, he's, gonna, he's gonna let me kill him though, so that's okay. Trash. TY. Thank you very much, sir. I got myself a tier 10. I have the highest uh, emblem possible because some guy called me trash. We're gonna trade this in right now. And that is our first 5 million points. In today's episode, we got ourselves Myth Gloves, 70 range, and we got ourselves our first 5 million bounty hunter points. In the next episode, we are going to get the next 5 million bounty 100 points. We have all these emblems already that we just need to upgrade one of these to a tier 10, which with well, these ones only takes like 7 or 8 kills. So if you has, have enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you guys later. In the next episode, we will be getting the next 5 million points, working towards 85 mage. I'm working towards our first max set as a baby pure and full elder chaos robes and everything. I will see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching.